this video I'm going to show you how you can get the Viridian Hidden Tear in Elden Ring DLC Shadow of the Earth Tree. Great for those who want to spam attacks because as you can see, if you use it in the Wanderer's Physique mix, it's going to eliminate all stamina consumption in Mix Physique. Now before we talk duration, first of all, just so you know about stamina, you can see that when I'm outside of combat, it doesn't actually, my different action don't use stamina. What actually uh, use stamina? Attacking, for example, blocking, dodging, jumping attacks, casting spells, sprinting, all of these cause stamina. But when I engage and I turn it into basically behind the scenes in combat mode, all my actions that I mentioned use stamina. And when I leave combat again, you can see that while I'm rolling again, I'm out of combat, doesn't cause stamina when I roll. All right, let's check the duration. Well, I could have sprinted, but nonetheless, we're gonna roll. Have fun. Yeah, basically 15 seconds long. After that, you can see my rolls start consuming stamina again. All right, how to get it and some tips for the fight. So this is the location of the Furnace Golem here, and we're gonna go to Cerulean Coast. It's very nearby. So for the build, I just uh, brought some fire resistance uh, gear and uh, also increased damage, only damage, again, for my weapon and also for the crit when I kind of, you know, when you do the attack in the face. They see they use for both the barrage attacks with the meteors and also to avoid the two feet attack and for increasing all the damage and uh, damage negation in the Wanderer's Physique. You cannot use Mimic here or any other summon. Now I'm using Faith Strength, so basically using Incantation to increase the, the damage and also Golden Vow for uh, extra defense and attack. Basically gives me plus 15% damage and uh, damage negation plus 10%. Other than that, I don't care about the other ones. The idea is try to just with one crit uh, when you get him down, just one, and then just finish him fast. Uh, so again, fast as possible. This is the barrage. When you get near, just use the horse and circulate around him. This way you won't actually get hurt at all. Uh, I mean, if you don't pay attention, yeah, but this is an easy way to... Uh, and then close distance on him again. Try to be at, always at the back. When he stomps, just jump the moment he stomps. Depends on the distance because this kind of travel on the ground, but usually you should do it pretty fast after he stomps down on the ground. Be also pay attention to the two legs so you know when he stomps. So if one leg is out of the screen, you can actually miss it. If you were to be at the front, he can actually grab you and in many cases eliminate you. I can survive that, but still it's very, very deadly. When you see particles, this is the barrage of the meteors. Just again, you see those particles, just use your horse, climb your horse and get out of there. I mean, just circle it again so they won't actually hit you. Because they will follow you and try to target you. Same as we did before when we started the fight. Pretty easy and then close distance again. You try to grab or attack at the front, don't be there, basically. Once he's down, go for the head. You can actually lock and see where the head is located. Here's on the left. And of course, I increase crit damage here. This is a massive damage, like third health gone. And then attack the face quickly because it deals more damage to the face. Now you're going to see my trick when I actually evade the two uh, attacks. I mean, usually I miss this, so... I just decided, well, let's find an easy way to do it. And look at that. Just pop the horse. And I'm out of danger, basically. Those frames are amazing. By the way, when you're staggering, if you're kind of depends again on your build or you know, your level, you're better off maybe some putting some defenses uh, on just in case if you need to. Basically, rise and repeat, be at the back, jump at the right time, and here I actually finished him before even the second crit. 
and that's it if you find this one useful give a like also comment if it helped you out and also consider subscribing i'll see you in the next guide thanks for watching